Hi, this is Vicki, and I wanted to share with you the project that I have for the month of July. It is that time for me to share the projects that I have and that I, sh uh, that I do my little monthly swap with LM Creations, and that's Miss Linda. And this month, for the month of July, we are doing Christmas in July. And uh, we were to incorporate, we can make six tags, and we are to incorporate at least one of the tags or maybe two two of the tags to have um, maybe one or two I can't remember but you were to have a, a prima doll on one of those tags so uh, here are my six I made a little couple more extra but I couldn't help it <laughs> anyway um, here's my take on the project that we have for this month okay for this here is going to be my tag and this is one of the dolls from Prima and the paper is from, I think it's a recollections paper that I got at Michael's a couple years back. I can't promise you because I don't have the paper stack down here with me. But um, in this flower here is also from uh, Michael's. It's the recollections. It, no, take that back. It's from the dollar bin. And this little uh, Christmas spray here is from um, Michael's as well that I got last year. This little bling here is Prima Crystals. And this little flower here, homemade flower, is from LM Creations. I thought it would be perfect for the color that I've got going here. And this little uh, set of pine cones is from Hobby Lobby that I got a couple years back. And this is a little ribbon that I had here in my stash. And I added a piece of a jewel or from Hobby Lobby that I got. It's from their paper studio collection and the uh, ribbon or trim here is also from Hobby Lobby that I got and this paper I mean her dress I paper piece and I think it's my mind's eye that I used here and I used my Copics to color her and I put a little bit of pearls here on her and I colored her, her boots I kind of went with the brown kind of theme I thought it was kind of cute and I liked how this little swirl was here and now that I'm thinking about it, I could probably put some bling right there but I think it came out pretty good and um, I ordered which I didn't think I was gonna when I got these dolls when I saw the accessories come out and I thought no nah, I don't need that but I see everybody using these cute little accessories with hair bows and hats so I I had to order some so I got me some ordered and they're coming and on the back here also, um, I loved this image right here and I wanted to use it on the back. So I didn't put a whole lot, nothing on here because of this image and you know, it was so cute. I didn't want to cover it. So Christmassy and I love birds. So anyway, but that's my first tag for Miss Linda. And here is my next tag that I have. This here um, is also um, another Christmas tag. And this here, right, image here is from Graphic 45. I think it's one of, one of their older Christmas collections. And this, these uh, poinsettias here, these paper ones, are from Jolie's that I had in my stash. And these here are um, from the Michael's Dollar Bin that I got a couple years back, or last year. And these little cones, pine cones here, are also from Hobby Lobby. And that's a recollection flower. The doily that I have here is also from Michael's Dollar Bin. And this here is a um, sticker that I have that it's just kind of coming down. I don't know if you can see that. And um, I paper pieced her dress and I used my Copics to color her and I put some glossy accents on there. And this sticker is also from Kay and Company. And this ribbon is so pretty. It's nice and satin. And I think I got this from Paper Tray Ink. And this uh, little tile here, Believe, is a tile that Miss Linda gave me in one of our swaps, so I thought I'd use it. But I thought it came out really cute. I love how it turned out. And it's kind of crazy, but anytime that I do my projects, I try to incorporate a bird somewhere, even if it's a small one, just so she knows that it's mine, it's from her, it's from me. Because like I said, I love birds, especially uh, cardinals. I, love, I just love cardinals. They're so pretty. And on the back is, um, I didn't do a whole lot here. The paper already came like this on the back. And um, this is a die that I have from La La Land Crafts. The 25 is from Tim Holtz or Sizzix. And this image here is going to be from Anna Griffin from 
a I ordered a Christmas box that had where you can make your own invitations and stuff for Christmas invitations your own Christmas cards and this was something that was left over so I put that in there and I didn't put anything on the back so I figured she might want to use it for something else I put that there and that's what I have for this tag and what I've been doing is um, when I get my new stamps and I'm transferring them into my uh, permanent storage, I save these so I can use these for, you know, our swaps to stick goodies in or a card or whatever I'm we're making. So in this case here, I made this tag in this die. This ornament is from Spellbinders and this is some trim that I got from... It's the recollections that comes in a small, it's like in a small little square box. And this here is a sticker that I got. Like I said, um, I bought a whole bunch of stickers at Walmart when they were um, clearancing their Christmas stuff a few years back. So I have a lot of those, so I was trying to incorporate the, these. And that's where I think some of this stuff came from too, is this. And this is a ribbon too that I got from out of that um, box that I had ordered from HSN with the Anna Griffin was this ribbon. I had some left over, so I put that on there. And then I stamped to and from. And so I'll put that in here so it won't get messed up. And here's another tag that I made. I'm also Spellbinders. And here's another one. And these, are, like I said, are all stickers that I've put on here just to kind of dress it up a little bit and the paper is from the collection I think of one of the recollections co collection one of their paper pads from last year or the year before that and this tag here is one of uh, my friend's sweet Emma from my creative time it's her tag and I put some flowers on here not flowers so a lacy heart um, ribbon or doily like and this little poinsettia is from Spellbinders. No, take that back. It's from La La Land Crafts. And this is also a sticker. And then I stamped to and from on the back and stuck a little ribbon on there. And this here, it's two, it's two um, tags, but I just stuck them in here because I was kind of running out of these plastic bags, is from this little die cut here is from the Sizzix. It's from one of their um, one of their sets that they have where you can layer these tags. And this right here is a 3D sticker that I got at Walmart a few years back. And this is Joy, also a sticker. And they both on the back are stamped to and from. And then last but not least, I didn't do a whole lot to this because this is um, got a real cute image and I didn't want to take away from that. And this this image here is from Graphic 45 from their line, one of their Christmas collections. Um, and I thought it was cute. And I, I liked, I just kind of cut this out and put Christmas cheer. And I had cut out a smaller image of Santa. And I ended up popping him up to make him like he looked like he's 3D. And I thought that was cute. And I love these old, like 1930s, 40s, Christmas, and 50s. These images of how families were so happy at Christmas time or they spent time together. I love that. And on the back here, I have, you know, our monthly uh, information as far as what we were swapping and my information on there. And this is from, all this here is from Graphic 45, except for, like I said, the poinsettias. They are from La La Land Crafts, from their die that they have. This one's from La La Land. And this little uh, little gem here is from Hobby Lobby, from their um, Paper Studio collection. So I hope she likes what I have for her. And um, I got her a few goodies that I'm going to throw in her little bag that we'll be swapping this in a few more days. So I hope she likes it. And thank you for watching. Bye for now.